don't let them get over 20 minutes. Uh, 15. And um, Shannon yesterday was watching their clock. So the first thing I got to do is look on here and make sure all my little marks are there. This is the lining. So there's my mark for there. There's the top shoulder seam. There's the front. My notches are good. And I have those little marks between where <clears throat> easing was supposed to take place. So it's supposed to be eased between here. So I'm going to take the pins out of this one. And, of course, the pattern just told me I needed to ease it. So what I'm going to do is on that side of the sleeve, between this tick mark and this tick mark down here, I'm going to ease it. And remember, I did this on the other sleeve. Turn this to the longest stitch length to one, no knot. And just so there, pull it, keep a long tail so that I can ease it. Do it again. It's the side without a notch. So now I'm going to do it again. All right, so you can see on the back side easier. I got a bunch of stitching that's big that I can pull. So now I'm going to open these sleeves out with the caps up there. I'm going to get the under sleeve, which I need to check if it was marked. Uh, where's Tammy? Right. Tammy, this see this mark right here? Yes. And see that one? Yes. That's the one you were supposed to have to know where the underarm sleeve goes, the seam. This is the mark that connects to that seam that goes there. And that's the mark you're missing. Okay? So only if it's two parts or only if it's one part to a sleeve? Two parts sleeve. The they match when the designer wants them to match. Mm -hmm. It's 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 just a preference of the designer. Uh, they don't always match. So that's that's the thing you need to learn. Don't always expect it to match. Alright, so now I'm laying my sleeves on top of the ones they go to. Turning this back to normal stitch length. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to make the sleeve, which you can see right here, because of just the way I sewed it, it's lining up. I'll we'll start at the bottom. So I can sew. You want to sew on top of your easing. And see that little tick mark right there? That's telling me that's the hem. All right, so I'm knotting. And look, it, it's like a corner I need to turn. Put the needle down, turn it a little. Now I'm lining these two up, those two tick marks with each other. All right, so now I'm lining this tick mark together. And I'm going to pin it. And then I'm going to ease so that these, you know, are the same size. So as I've pulled it too tight, now I'm relaxing it out, but I'm spreading it so that there's no little, you know what I mean, those little, uh, please, please thank you. <laughs> okay, I got one coming right there, pull it out. See how I'm avoiding them? Come in there, pull that out. There. So now line this up. Finish it off. <laughs> okay. So there's that side. Now the other side is just sew it together. No big deal. it up make sure well no I usually put the shoulder pads in after the sleeve is in really yeah oh, okay. I was just wondering why they I don't know why they do it it's it's what it is it's a home sew way 
and we're doing more of a manufacturing sewing method. Yeah, that's what I was kind of um, like, huh? People that buy clothes in the store tend to be a little more rough with them, and we need this thing to stand up, and I need you to teach the construction order of how it's done for the store. I yeah. why they... That's the old-fashioned way of doing it. Well, I was following their instructions, and now we're not, because I just took two hours off of your task. Yeah. Tammy, what did you just post in Facebook? Oh, you're not in the group? Yeah, but my other Facebook page, I couldn't get it open or something, so I couldn't get it Okay. I was, I was trying to get you, like, a few days ago, too, but I... Then I lost my password or something to the new one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't know what's been going no, on. Not a good day. Well, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll accept it and move you in. Okay, so I'm lining this up, but look what I'm doing. This is my second sleeve. Look what I'm doing. I'm going to get here, turn the corner. Now watch this. I'm going to sew to this tick mark, and then I'm going to stop. Okay, now I'm going to find the second tick mark, put it together, and I'm going to start there, and I'm leaving a huge hole in one of the sleeves. No, we got two elbows. We got one on each, on each arm. Remember the other side, I didn't leave it. No, okay, can you stand up with that? Can you uh, get the sleeve board pun? I'm going to show you what I just did. Thank you. Thanks. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm only going to press one of these, and that's the one with the hole. The one without the hole, you're going to press it like you normally do a sleeve. But the second seam has this big gaping hole in it. So normally there are the easing there? Yeah, well the easing's there and I do need to use it, but I'm going to press this down. As if it were sewn together. See what I did? And now it's it's a hole. So what was the hole for? Well, just just stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a hole in one sleeve, okay? So we can end that video. Nope, doesn't matter which sleeve.